Hey everybody, I just want to apologize in advance for the amount of fuck-ups I'm going to be making during the video. That being stuttering, forgetting, etc, etc. And that's because A, you don't, like, how often do you hear my voice? And B, because I have the brain span of a goldfish, I tend to forget shit that happens three minutes ago. And, but anyway, people have been asking about my build, and by people I mean like five, but fuck it. Let's do a video on it anyway, and it'll be a good, uh, good excuse to get started on commentary, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. So anyway, for this build I wanted to, it's actually for the, like his appearance anyway, it's for the exact same reason as... Um, Dark Souls 1, by that I mean Fashion Souls, I just really like how the build looks, that's the main purpose of my armor that I'm wearing, but the armor also has a very, um, um, it's very diverse when it comes to its, um, defenses, by that I mean the helmet, the ironclad helmet, is actually really good for fire, bleeding, and physical defense, and the Imperious Armor, which is the chest and the leggings, that has very good, well it has pretty good physical, but it's very good against magic and dark, but it also de defends pretty good across the board besides that. And the Archeric Gloves, well they look cool, and they have, uh, they also have pretty damn high lightning defense, which every piece of armor besides, uh, <coughs> besides the, um, Besides the gloves, black and is lightning. They're all pretty shit when it comes to lightning. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's the armor setup. Besides that, um, the Watch Dragon Parma. This is going to be my most used shield for sure. So I'm going to be using for pretty much everything. And that's because of its um, balanced defenses. Simple. I don't really care, but the it doesn't have 100% physical resistance, but that's fuck all. I'll manage without it. As for the rings, um, the Clarinthy ring, I would have a plus one or a plus two. I think there's a plus two in the game, but I'm too lazy to find them. The ring of life, uh, the ring of life protection because I don't like using effigies. Third dragon ring. The fat ring all over again. <coughs> And the Ring of Resistance. The reason why I have this is actually because my adaptability used to be at 23, but I decided to bring it down to 13 and bring up my Vigor to 50. And the only reason why I had that much adapt adaptability is because of the auxiliary defenses and the shield ray speed. But I'll do without the um, shield ray speed and just have the um, just have the Ring of Resistance there to pick up the slack. Um. As for the Rebel's Great Shield, this is something I'm going to be using every time my main weapon doesn't weigh much. It Well, weighs a little enough where I can have these two equipped without having to fat roll. And the reason for this is because, no offense to anybody who does this, but pretty much at least half of the community really likes to fall back on spamming every fucking thing. Everything from lightning spears to, you know, dark mat. You guys get the picture. Um, so yeah. Yeah, you could just roll past it with high adaptability, but half of the time, half of the time lag will end up biting you in the ass anyway, so I decide to have the Rebel's Great Shield. When people start spamming magic, you can just switch to it and block. And just keep moving forward and close the gap. As for the weapons, of course, depends what I'm doing, what episode I'm doing. Um, the Trochus and the Burst, because of elemental defenses. I mean, again, no offense to anybody who does it, although I, most people that I face buff their weapons, but pretty much, yeah, like 80, 90% of people buff their weapons, and if you look at the buff, you could pretty much be prepared, or you could pretty much know what's what kind of damage you're going to do to you. And depending on what kind of a buff they choose, you can choose the Burr or the, the Dark Troches accordingly. Yeah. 
that's it for pretty much the build. But, um, I guess, um, yeah, uh, fuck it, let's do some PvP for a bit. Yeah, the Foot Soldier Sword. I mean, this is easily the best sword in the game. It has the highest poise break, and poise is the most valuable thing in this game. So, yeah, um, yeah, the Foot Soldier Sword, I recommend everybody to pick one up and use it, because it is amazing. Anyway, so I'm going to go showcase that there now. But I do want to warn you that I'm probably not going to, need, going to be speaking much during the fights. Just before or after, you know, probably talk about the fight a little bit, what happened, how, how or why I lost, or why I won, etc. Yeah, just bear with me.